Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here. This one was sent to me by Uniwigs. I'm very excited about this one. This is going to be a human hair wig. It's the one I have on my head, isn't she pretty? Her name is Georgia. And I'll get into the details of Georgia, but I wanna show you the beautiful box that this wig comes in. I know everybody's like, who cares about the box? Well, I just think it's really nice when a company takes the time to put the attention to detail into the packaging also, to me it says something about the quality of their products. So let's get on to what this review is really about, which is Georgia that you see on my head. This is Remy human hair, you guys. That means all the cuticles are going in the same direction. That means you won't have to worry about tangling at the nape. And after you wash it a few times, having trouble with the wig matting up and not being easy to manage. You are not going to have that problem with Georgia. The color that you see her on my head, it is called Vanilla Butter Blonde. And this to me has some warmth to it. It has dimension to it. It has very, very light shading at the rooting. And it's just a really pretty, I'm gonna go with neutral creamy blonde on this one. There's some hints of warmth and some hints of cool. So I think it could fit um, color wise with a lot of different skin tones. So Georgia also is only 110% density, which I absolutely love. I mean, that's gonna make her easy to put up, to do braids, to do a low ponytail, just having a low density wig gives you a lot of options because you don't have to worry about bulk when you're moving the hair around. This wig is also a lace front, which you can see right here. That's the lace front. You're going to trim that off um, once you get the wig and decide to keep it, but it comes with a lace front and a full monofilament top. I have Georgia parted in the middle, but with a full monofilament top, you can part anywhere where the monofilament top is. And I will show you that when I take her off and show you the cap. The cap on this is an average size cap. On the website, it says 22 inches. I am 21 and a half inches and this fits me great. I don't have any issues at all with fit. I am using the adjusters at the nape, which I will show you. On the website, Georgia measures at 15 inches. I measured her myself with my soft measuring tape and I got 15 inches from the crown to the uh, tips of the ends in the back. I got 15 inches also. So on that one, the sizing was the same, which is awesome. So here's the front of Georgia in that beautiful vanilla butter blonde. And here is the left side. There's the back. You can get a good look at that. And the right side, you can see that lace front there, and you can see the rooting, very, very, very subtle rooting on this one, which that appeals to some people, a lot of people that I know of actually. On Georgia, you have the lace front, which you trim that after you get it and decide to keep it, and then you trim it to where you like your lace to be has a full monofilament top right here. So anywhere in this lighter area that you're looking at right here, you can part the wig. So left, right, center, anywhere in between, you have all sorts of options. Has a closed wefted back. It's got a little bit of stretch to the cap too, and it was very lightweight and comfortable. And then this strap that you see, this is for extra security also. These are a great options on the wig. That makes sure that your wig is not going anywhere. You will have that at the back of your head when you put it on, and that will just hold the wig in place. At the nape, it has an extended nape. You can see that where it says Uniwigs and then it's got these little clip-in adjusters. I am 21 and a half inches for circumference, and you can see where I have the adjusters, so there's plenty of room to go smaller, or you could undo those on both sides, and this would fit a larger head quite well also. So Georgia has a lot of cap options that I like, and one of my favorite things about her I mentioned earlier is the density only being 110%. I love a lower density wig and I'm going to show you, I'm going to put her back on and I'm going to show you why I love that. I'll be right back. Okay, I have Georgia back on 
and I want to show you she is very very easy to wear with glasses warning you're gonna see the ring light in the glasses but you just slip them right on I don't slide the arms of my glasses underneath the wig cap I put them over top of the wig cap if the wig cap is close to my ears in the case of Maylene it fits very comfortably and you so you can easily wear glasses which is a huge plus Another thing that's really easy to do with a lower density wig like this is to add a decorative headband. You can add a decorative headband to any wig, but with the lower density wigs, there's no bulk around the ears and you just slide on the cute headband and you have a little bit of extra sparkle, which is really nice if you're going to go out for dinner or just if that's your look that you enjoy. Okay, and one last easy one is a scrunchie. Everybody loves a scrunchie. They went out of style for a while, but the scrunchies made a huge comeback. So if I just want to make a casual low pony, I wrap the scrunchie around the hair. This scrunchie takes three times. Then I pull the scrunchie to tighten the back. And then I start pulling out side pieces and front pieces to give kind of that casual look. Just to make it, you know, yeah, this could actually even be dressy if you had a fancy scrunchie. <laughs> Or you could put a bow back there, but I'll show you that back. So that's another idea that you can do with a low density wig. I hope that you have enjoyed this look at Uniwigs Georgia. I want to thank Uniwigs for sending me this wig so that I can share these wigs with you guys. Because when you are looking for a wig, for me, I spent hours on YouTube looking at reviews, looking at options, and videos like this are very helpful. And when manufacturers send wigs out to wig reviewers so we can show them, I think it helps the wig community. So I want to thank you to wigs. So we're going to say goodbye to Georgia, but let's take a quick last look at her. This is Vanilla Butter Blonde. And here's the front, the side the back, the other side, and we are back to the front. I really love, my favorite things on this wig are the density and the really, really secure cap. I think that the color is a very, very good neutral blonde for a lot of people. And overall, I am very, very happy with this wig, and I hope that you will be too if you order her. Please like and subscribe and come back to my channel. I sure enjoy having you guys here and I hope that you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you on my next review.